Hey, there are five hidden secrets about the DJI Spark I can't wait to share with you. I'm sure you may have known some of them, but I'm pretty sure you may not know them all. That's why I'm having a survey throughout this video that may show up on the top right corner. Make sure you click it and participate it because I'm very curious to know if all these secrets that I discover are rare or am I the only oblivious one. Okay, no more BS and let's get to the video now. Secret number one, of course, DJI Spark has a Chinese name since it's designed and made in China and it is pronounced Xiao. Instead of Spark, the character itself actually means the first light of the day or just dawn. You may have noticed the slight difference between this Chinese character and what I have on the Spark. What I have on the Spark is actually a Japanese kanji pronounced Akatsuki, also means dawn. Same meaning, different pronunciation. This design was inspired by the cape worn by the evil organization known as Akatsuki in the Naruto anime series from Japan. The red cloud represents the color of the cloud during dawn. Secret number two. The camera will automatically tilt forward as it lands, just to prevent the camera lens from hitting the ground. Ironically, the higher price tag drone DJI Mavic actually doesn't do that. Secret number three, when connect to the phone over Wi-Fi, the maximum flight distance is measured from the home point, not the physical distance between the phone and the spark. There I am riding on the booster board while the spark is falling right behind me. If you see that D number right there, that number is the distance between the spark and the home point not the distance between me and the spark. As you can see, it starts to increasing constantly and it will give me a warning message as it reaches 100 meter and stop following me just to prove my point. There you go. Maximum flight distance reached. So if you want to film yourself riding bike or running that may go beyond 100 meter, what you want to do is to set the home point 100 meter between point A and point B. Then come back and start filming from point A. Technically, the spark can now follow you 200 meter all the way to point B. Secret number four, OTG cable actually does work. I have product link under description below if you're interested. There are debates over whether the physical OTG connector is better than the connection over Wi-Fi, so my next video will be the comparison between the two. So make sure you subscribe to get notification when the video is available on my channel. But for now, let's do the latency test. Basically, a latency test will show us how much the video feedback is delaying compared to real time. Now if we pause the video and compare the time difference between the laptop and the smartphone, the difference is actually not very significant. Speaking of the OTG cable, which leads to secret number five. If you're into live streaming on Facebook or YouTube, here's the way to do it on your Spark. Since the Android device cannot connect to Wi-Fi and mobile data simultaneously like iPhone does, Connect your smartphone to the controller through OTG connector so that you can access the internet through the mobile data. And now you should be able to see the live stream option show up in the dot 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 menu under the unit section. Alright guys, I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have, give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for my next video and comment down below if you have any questions. I will try my best to answer them. And that's all I have for this video, and peace out.